Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, a error on the SAT writing section that comes up a lot, and it is called faulty comparison. Uh, now, what that means is that if you're ever comparing some two different things in a sentence, uh, you need to make sure that those two things that you're comparing are of the same nature or of the same quality. Uh, you cannot compare two things that are inherently different. So uh, now just as a reminder uh, we're going to be working with problems from the official guide to the SAT. So here's a picture of what it looks like. Uh, all of my explanations are going to correspond to uh, questions from this book. Uh, it is the, as it says uh, in the on the book itself, it's the only book where you can get real SATs, that is, uh, SATs that are produced by the College Board, uh, the company that makes the SAT. So it's the best place for practice materials. Um, all right, so, okay, we're going we're gonna to talk about this error faulty comparison. Now, before we do uh, number 27 on page 540, I want to give you, you know, just sort of a, um, you know, more basic example of how you might see this error in, in real life. So we're going to try a sentence and uh, see if you can figure out what's wrong with it. The players on my team are better than your team. Okay, what's wrong with this sentence? Well, the person who's saying this, first of all, they're, they're trash talking. <laughs> uh, second of all, they're grammatically incorrect. And the reason why is because whoever said this is comparing the players on his or her team to your entire team. You can't compare players to a team because they're two different types of things. So if you wanted to correct this sentence, you'd have to say, the players on my team are better than the players on your team. Or, you could also say, uh, the players on my team are better than those on your team. Now, if you say those, uh, it's assumed that you're comparing uh, players to players. It's, it's, it's a bit more uh, eloquent uh, way of phrasing the sentence, but either one of these uh, two variations would make this sentence correct. So just remember, uh, if you compare two things, they need to be the same thing. And a nice clue about these sentences is if you see the word than, than, T-H-A-N, is only used in comparisons. So if you see that word, there's a good chance that it's a comparison error. So let's uh, open up that official guide. And uh, we are going to take a look at number 27 on page 540. Now, probably makes more sense for me to just type this one out. So let's see if I can make that happen. Uh, well, nope, they went back to small font on me. Okay, well, so much for that idea. I'll just sketch it out. So, uh, the novel Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen was once mo more widely read and was more popular in high schools in the United States than Charlotte Bronte. Okay, the novel Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen was once more widely read That's B. And was more popular in the United States than Charlotte Bronte. Now, of course, E, as always, is no error. Well, what do you see here? that we talked about in the earlier example, well, we see the word than, okay? If you see the word than, there's a good chance that it's a comparison error, okay? So again, let's think about what we're comparing here. I'll re read the sentence one more time. 
The novel Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen was once more widely read and was more popular. Okay, so what are we comparing here? We're comparing the novel Pride and Prejudice to what? Well, if we're comparing a novel to something else, what does that other thing have to be? Well, it should be a novel. Remember, we can only compare two things that are of the same nature. Uh, now, what they're doing in this question is they're comparing uh, the novel Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen to Charlotte Bronte, the person, the author. Uh, you cannot compare a novel to a person. You have to compare a novel to a novel, so that's why in this case the answer is D.